Okay, in this video I'm going to introduce the travelling salesperson problem, just to really understand exactly what the problem is and how we're going to go about solving it. Okay, so the idea for the travelling salesperson problem is that you have a salesperson that needs to travel to, they might be towns uh, or cities or whatever like that, um, has a certain number of places to go to. So for example, maybe the salesperson is starting at town A and they've got business to attend to in B, C, D and E and then they need to get back home, back to A. What is the fastest route that they can go around to visit all of the vertices and get back to where you started? Now this is very unlike, um, or kind of like the opposite to the Chinese postman algorithm. The, for the postman, he needs to visit every edge because he needs to post letters along every edge and get back to where he started. For the salesperson, however, um, if you think about it, if you've got to go um, to a certain number of towns and you need to do it in the shortest amount of time or the shortest distance to travel, you're not going to go along every single road in the network. Okay, That wouldn't make much sense. Um, so, this is the problem that we have. And there is no algorithm that will allow us to actually solve the problem. Now that sounds a little strange, but um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find what is referred to as a Hamiltonian cycle. A Hamiltonian cycle visits every vertex and then gets back to where you started. So we're trying to find a Hamiltonian cycle of shortest length. And as I said, there, the traveling salesperson problem, it's not an algorithm in itself. What we study is a pair of algorithms that can be used to determine bounds between uh, for which that length will be. So this is split up into the lower bound algorithm, which, funnily enough, finds you a lower bound. So that might find you um, that the minimum is M, for example. And then we have the, an upper bound algorithm known as the nearest neighbor algorithm. And that will give us an upper bound, let's say, n. Okay? So that the optimum solution x will be somewhere between these two values. Okay? Now, if these two values are the same, the m and n are the same, then, yes, we have a tor that is of minimum value. Okay? What we will find, however, is that although n will most definitely give us a tour that will go along all the ver uh, travel to each of the vertices to get back to where you started, it will give us a Hamiltonian cycle. The lower bound algorithm will give us a bare minimum. Okay, there will be no cycle that will be shorter than this value, but that cycle may not actually exist. Okay. So we may well be able to improve on n, but the m may not actually exist. So these are the ideas that we will be considering as part of tackling the traveling salesperson problem. And I'm going to go through these algorithms in detail in a moment.